If I die tomorrow, I've, I've won. I have to write the world a check. I have to pay for my sins. How much is this you can take before you say, let's just, let's be finished with this? You know what I mean? It wants to show you something. It wants to see how much you can take, how much you can handle of life. You say you love life, you want to live life. I'm going to show you life. Life is beautiful, but you have to accept the good and the bad as being beautiful. You can't, can't accept the good, oh, this is beautiful. Then we lose somebody, oh, life sucks. Life is beautiful because life gave us the ability to just know them in our journey in life. We met them. We loved them. We cared about them. They cared about us. That's, that's the purpose of life. Just enjoy what we had, what we journeyed. Sometimes we don't understand, like, what is this thing? What is my purpose? Why am I here? Why do I have to go through this pain? Why do I have to go through this fear all the time? Why can't it just be peaceful all the time? Then it wouldn't be life. You know, it wouldn't be life. We have to, we have to take life at its terms. Life on life terms, not our, life on our terms. You know, we have to live life on life terms, not on our terms. I keep thinking um, it's all about love, love is the essence of life, I keep believing that. Hey, come on, fuck the game, is it that simple? <laughs> yeah. Is it that simple? I think so. Yeah. That we're fighting for something that's just so, right there, you can do it, but you just don't want to let go. Yeah. Listen, when you really find real love, and so my first experience with real love, the first, you know, I've never experienced, I ran the other way. There's no way that you're gonna accept it full hard to be a scary shit. The thing that somebody really loves you regardless of all your flaws and everything. And you feel like you're a disgusting piece of shit. And somebody says, I love you though. You might wanna kill that person. How could you? I hate me. How do you love me? You know? Love is scary. Because it's so beautiful. I'm aware that a lot of people like you may watch me and may look up to me and think I'm a certain kind of guy, I'm a good guy, but they have to understand that I'm not worthy of praise. They do these things, they, I, I look at YouTube and I see guys have Mike Tyson, Immortal, Mike Tyson, God, and um, I'm not worthy of that. You are Mike. Hey, stop, I know me. You can think what you want, but I know. Um, not for somebody to, worry, to praise me or anything, no. I'm always just Mike. I was one of those people that worshiped people because I had nothing. Imagine how low I had to be to worship a nothing. Somebody that's nothing, and I worshiped them. And when I did the toe the last time, all I did was, um, my whole life was telling me that all my, when I die, all I'm going to do is apologize. I felt all the pain I ever caused somebody, all the pain I ever caused people my journey in this world. I didn't see anybody who felt the pain. I couldn't apologize enough. I was so happy that I, I woke up, you know. Yeah, people can forgive themselves too. We do, I do forgive myself. I want to be, I'm a megalomaniac. Yeah, I forgive myself, I'm fucking perfect. But the reality of it is that you did something, motherfucker. Yes. You gotta pay up. This is my world, that's just what I'm experiencing now. I'll never be forgiven. I believe we have to pay for our sins. No, I, I do it out of fear, because I know um, from my experience, I know I'm gonna wind up at, in some way, I'm gonna have to be um, questioned for this. You know, it's gonna be a challenge, you know? Sometimes, you know, um, life is difficult to even live, you know? That life is pretty difficult. And then, after, and then, besides life being disciplined, you have to be a responsible individual. You have to be establish yourself for your children and your family and your wife and everything. And life, um, sometimes it comes fast at me, it comes real fast. I can't say honestly, I have a very deep affection for him. I do. To me, he's my boy. He's with me. But I often say to him, you know, I owe you a lot. And he doesn't know what I mean, but I'm going to tell him now what I mean. If he weren't here, I probably wouldn't be alive. The fact that he is here and doing what he's doing 
and doing as well as, as he's doing and improving as he has gives me the motivation and interest to stay alive. Because I believe that a person dies when they no longer wants to live. But I have a reason with, with Mike here. And he gives me the motivation. I will stay alive and I will watch him become a success. Because I will not leave until that happens. You had to go through all of that so that you could change the world, dude. Well, yeah, I don't see that. I don't know. You don't realize how many lives you're changing, saving because of who you are and what you've been through and how you're willing to speak about it now. 